The Swinburne Children University is particularly dedicated to STEM. We want young children to love science. And so we are really partnering with Learning Destination that will encourage this. And we want to invent the university of the future, not be the university of the past. We were approached last year to be able to do it. And we were really excited to take the opportunity for our kids to learn outside of the classroom and really explore some of the opportunities that were available through the Children's University. Basically, they're like a little checkbook where you write something that you did down and then your sort of local coordinator has this special stamp, sort of stamp it and then that means you get a certain amount of hours according to what you did. I also like these hats. I think he is um, much more inclined to independently investigate things he can do, places he can visit as a result. Well it's been really fun doing activities and just hobbies I really love and enjoy. This is probably my most favourite part though very different to what I expected. I think it's definitely larger than what I expected. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all here tonight to this graduation ceremony here at our beautiful campus in Hawthorne. You are actually making history right now. You are the first cohort of people to graduate from Children's University at Swinburne. And for that, congratulations to all of you. Makes things like a university, which can seem so intimidating, so much more accessible to somebody in their primary school year. Just coming here in itself is like really exciting. I just want to say thank you to my mum for like letting me like have this opportunity and my teachers. I think it's just such a wonderful experience for our kids to see and really strive for later on in life. We are talking about people who are just fresh mind, open to new ideas, and Swinburne really wants to be their partner in the fun of discovering what science and technology can do for the future. Only in universities can we actually show parents and young learners what the future can be if they only can dream big enough.